<sighs> and I got to do it, man. Why in-app payments are important? Well, as you all know, users like free applications. However, you need to make a living out of your work. Life is not as easy as it seems, right? For that, we got you covered with in-app payments. You could see it in many examples, Clash of the Clans, Netflix, Spotify, and many more. In this episode, you'll learn how to perform common in-app billing operations for your Android applications. In-app billing is a service hosted on Google Play that lets you charge for digital content or for upgrades in your app. You can request product details from Google Play, issue orders for in-app products, and retrieve ownership information based on your user's purchase history. Google Play provides a checkout interface that makes user interaction with the in-app billing service seamless. It provides a more intuitive experience to your users. So now you need to set up. Before you can start using the in-app billing service, you'll need to follow these three steps. Add the library that contains the in-app billing API to your Android project. Why? Well, it's the definition of the interface that in-app billing expose. This will enable us to call its methods. Then, set the permissions for your application to communicate with Google Play. Last but not least, establish a connection between your application and Google Play. Now, you can place products for sale. Before publishing your application, you'll need to define the product list of digital goods available for purchase in Google Play Developer Console. Once your application is connected to Google Play, you can initiate purchase requests for in-app products. Google Play provides a checkout interface for users to enter the payment method so your application does not need to handle payment transactions directly. When an item is purchased, Google Play recognizes that the user has an ownership of the item and prevents the users from purchasing another item with the same product ID until it is consumed. You could also query Google Play to quickly retrieve the list of purchases that were made by the user. To ensure that in-app billing is functioning correctly, you should test the application before you publish it on Google Play. Early testing also helps to ensure that the user flow for purchasing in-app items is not confusing or slow and that users can see their newly purchased item in a timely way. Want to know more? Follow the links below. Until next time, eat your vegetables, use in-app payments, and listen to your partners.